Oh, well, that was, uh, that was a wild game. Um, really proud of our guys, you know, our players, coaches, um, you know, came out here and, you know, had to leave some of our, our better players, uh, you know, in Foxborough, um, you know, got off to, you know, a rough start, um, but these guys really battled back, hung in there, you know, defense played, you know, great in the first quarter, great in the third quarter, um, you know, and then, you know, Russ brought them back and, and, um, you know, hit a couple, hit a couple of big passes today, which really helped us uh, along the way, and you know made some made some key plays, um, missed some, made some, made the ones we had to make, and so um, really really happy for the hard work that you know all of our players and coaches put in, and and uh, you know how resilient they were, you know coming out here, uh, you know playing a team that's it's really been playing pretty well lately, and. Um, like I said, got off to a rough start, but you know we were able to kind of settle down and um, you know play turnover free after the first play, and, and uh, you know put a lot of good defensive snaps out there. You know, had a couple of big plays in the kicking game, you know both ways, but it was good to make them. So um, you know, good to good to come out here and win. What was it like to watch defense respond to those situations early after the turnover, and also to see Bailey respond, especially in that third quarter with the big oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody was really, really resilient. I mean, defensively, we've you know had a few of those, but uh, you can't control that on defense. You can't control field position. You you have to go in wherever they get the ball. It could be on their one or our one. So whatever it is, it is. Um, you can't control that. So um, that was a big stop for us. You know, fourth down, first drive, and then um, you know third quarter. It's really you know we control the field position. We're able to take advantage of it offensively. So. It's good complimentary football, you know. Got some yards in the return game, um, so it was a good, a good swing for us. You said Bailey's happy. You just getting more comfortable with, you know, each you know, start that he's getting now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The more snaps he gets, sure. So what, what were your thoughts on Chad Ryland? Big cook, yeah, big cook. What does that say about him after you know some of the struggles he had? I guess. No, it's, uh, like I said, I think our whole team showed a lot of mental toughness, you know, all week, all year, tonight. Along the offensive line, uh, was it part of the plan to rotate there at uh, left tackle, mm -hmm. left guard, or was that something you did on the line? Yeah, that's right. So we practice it. Joey, but um, to practice like third series, but. And, uh, put him in. We felt like we needed to put him in. Bill, we talk about complimentary football all the time. That sequence, you know, you get the touchdown and then see what Mapu did and Cody Davis to jump out of the end zone. How important is that for you to see, you know, get the offense quickly and then the special team and have to work the defense has done too? Yeah, well, I mean, that's a great opportunity to to play complimentary football, score, kick off, pin him down there, get the ball back. Get in good field position and it can string it together. Turnover is big, um, but yeah, it was a good opportunity. We took advantage of it, and so that's you know something we haven't probably done enough of this year. But it's good to see it tonight. Have you seen Malcolm grow over the course of this season? Yeah, all the rookies have grown. Yeah, every week, every game, every every practice is all all good for them. Um, you know, they keep working hard, getting better. And they all got a long way to go, but you know, just chipping away at it. Build the production that Christian Barmore has had the last <coughs> handful of games, big sacks. You talk about his commitment to conditioning in the offseason. What, what do you see? Is, is that consistent with what you saw from him coming into the season where he prepared himself to the Yeah, it was his, by far his best offseason, and he's continued to you know, train really hard, which has, I think, kept him a little healthier. Uh, you know, he's played a lot of football, but he's you know, he's been able to, you know, maintain that health and that conditioning. I think that off-season training um, and his lower body has really helped him, both conditioning and all, and also just his explosive power. Um, and the experience has helped him. You know, he did a good job. Uh, you know, tonight we had set up a couple things that, that you know worked well. He was able to take advantage of. Um, I thought overall our pass rush was was you know disciplined. Um, 
this guy's really hard to sack. He's really hard to handle. Um, but I thought, um, you know, Uche and Anthony and and uh, Mac, um, Keon, you know, all did a real good job of. I mean, he got the one scramble up the middle early, but for the most part, did a pretty good job of trying to, you know, control him, which is which is hard to do. And then you know, to sack him a few times is is even harder. So, um, and Russell's tough. But I mean, but that take, there's one, no one guy that can get him. I mean, you got to collectively, you know, match the coverage with the rush, and the rush has got to be coordinated with all three or four or five guys. However many have rushing, because um, if you leave seams in there, he'll, you know, he'll find them. With the way that Bailey's playing, especially he's limiting <coughs> turnovers and things of that nature, the, does it make you consider if you should have maybe turned him earlier in the season? Yeah, we're just looking ahead to Buffalo now. Bill, the, the situation with a seven play, forty-three yard drive, it's fifty-six seconds. To, you know, before the kick, the play to uh, Zappi to Parker. How important was that third down play? But also to see Chad come out and just nail the fifty security. You've had a lot of great kicks over the course of your coaching career. To see the kid come out and after missing one and, and hitting a missing an extra point, to be able to nail that in that situation. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, he's he's had plenty of plenty of good kicks, and you know. Uh, like you said, he had the you know the two tonight, but um, again he's hung in there and and uh, you know DP had a you know had several big plays for us, uh, you know made some big catches and you know a couple you know fight for extra yardage you know that he ran hard you know a couple chances when he had to you know run with the ball I mean it weren't like necessarily long gains but they you know piled up a few extra yards so. Um, you know, Parker stepped up for I mean we had all our guys step up, but you know, Parker, obviously Bailey, Chad, I mean, you know, you just you need those plays at the right time. When you need to make them, you gotta make them to win and tonight we made them. And unfortunately there have been some other weeks where we haven't been able to make them. So Bill after Cody Davis's touchdown, you go kick the extra point twenty three seven. At that point, like is there any thought of going for two? So if you didn't get it, you know, you're up fifty but then if you do 17 would make it three three possessions there sort of a second guess obviously after they came yeah of course out. it is yeah of course it is but did, i mean so is that just too much I mean, you, at that point do you even think about that or is it a no-brainer just so much time we, we do what we thought was best just leave it that way i did what i thought was best what do you make of billy zappy's results not yeah. just tonight but over the course of um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, him and a lot of other guys, you know, just got to, you know, hang in there, learn from our mistakes, and, you know, keep trying to improve and keep moving forward. Um, you know, can't look back too much. I mean, you look back to learn, but you got to, you know, prepare, move on to the next challenge, and try to do better. So he's done a good job of that, so a lot of other people. Well, it's not Christmas Day. Christmas is a little sweeter with the way things turned out in that final period. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you.